late winter in Namaqualand in southern Africa. The rains have triggered one of the most spectacular displays of flowers anywhere on the planet. Among them are twin spurs, which have two long tubes or spurs that extend below the flower. It's the favorite flower of one of the strangest looking bees in the world. A female oil bee has ridiculously long front legs, much longer than the rest of her body, for a very good reason. She collects oils made by twin spurs to mix with pollen to make food for her larvae. But the oil is only found at the very bottom of the two spurs, where only a bee with really long legs can reach it. Having two long legs, an oil bee can insert them into both spurs together and collect oil twice as quickly. As complex a docking maneuver as any carried out by NASA astronauts. At the other extreme, mole crickets have converted their front legs into short but broad and powerful shovels. They look very much like the feet of moles. Clearly, evolution isn't afraid to recycle a good idea. They can dig quickly excavating long burrows under the soil. And like moles, they grab worms that break into their tunnels, a welcome addition to their diet of roots. The great thing about having six legs is that the front two can be converted into all manner of useful tools, still leaving four to walk on. Not as stable as six, but still no problem. Mantids have converted their front legs into jackknives edged with sharp teeth. The weapons of a lethal hunter. Like any good hunter, it keeps everything clean and polished, ready for action. And with sharp eyes, it can spot the slightest movement. The rainforest is no place to be a small, tasty insect. And neither is this tranquil looking pond. A water stick insect has evolved the same technique.
like the mantis. It has sharp eyes. And front legs designed to grab prey. It also has a sharp beak that stabs through the exoskeleton of its lunch. It injects toxins and digestive juices to dissolve the body of its prey, turning it into a hearty soup. 